Hello, I'm Leah Green, visiting assistant professor of English and environmental studies at Washington and Lee. And I am here with a poem in celebration of National Poetry Month. This poem is entitled Beningo Street Sun, and it was published in my chapbook, The Ones We Have. It speaks to the title of that collection. It's about, um, well, the ones that we have, things and people, and the ones that we do not. It is a poem in a series of Beningo Street poems, which come from time I spent living with communal farming families in the Dominican Republic. This is the poem in the series which observes the eldest son of the family um, as he comes home to visit after time he's spent working in the US. It's concerned with the reflection of the family in his eyes with the altered image and self-image of the place when it is newly seen no longer within its own context, but as existing in relationship to other places. The Ningo Street Sun. The poured concrete floor was cleared for mopping. The little boy named after his father and brothers was dancing on it, salsa to the morning radio, his little hand drifting above his little belly. All the chairs had been pushed outside, and Fermina sat in one of them by the opened door, chewing chocho fruits. It was not a truck that he came in, not corroded through the bottom from driving straight up the mountain on the road that was also and usually the river. Fermina could not rise when he kissed her on the cheek to pass in. She had a thousand chocho pits in the lap of her skirt. When he unlatched the back of the car where the music beat out from, he lifted a large framed mirror, a gift for his mother, and carried it with the width of his arms like a painting past her into the swept, not yet mopped house. He gave his nephew five pesos to stop dancing, to run and return with something sweet to drink, something that came sealed in a can from somewhere else, was not made from what was possible here and could reflect the faces of others not seen every day in the same painted cinder block room inside together every time that it rained. Every day all week it had rained. So hard the campesinos stayed home and the caña grew on the side of the mountain almost without their asking it to, but not without their needing it. And what do we enjoy? The radio? The food we've wrested from the gathering mud to sell for food or boil? The guitar? The cowboy hat that helps when we are dancing? All the things that come reflecting our faces from far off? <laughs>